Hey everyone, so we're gonna be talking Activate. I'm gonna go through what it is, who it's for, how I think it's best to use it, and how to get access. So first of all, AWS Activate, as many of you already know it and perhaps are members of it and use it, are primarily focused on the credits. And yes, it is a credits package, but it's not just that. You have access to training and support and other benefits as well that we'll go through later. And it's designed for, for you, for startups, whether you are founding it with a couple of friends and you're just starting off and you haven't received any funding and you're bootstrapping, or maybe you've raised significant investment. It could be your seed round or your first VC funding. The Activate program comes in two different flavors, the founders tier and the portfolio package to fit these different use cases. And you're a member of Activate all the way through your life as a startup. So let's go into the best ways I think you should use Activate to get the most value from it. First of all, the credits. And the credits are available up to $100,000 US dollars, which is a significant amount. That is a lot of EC2 instances or Lambda invocations. I tried doing the calculation and let's just say it was enormous. Anyway, you have the credits. And I've seen many startups run their business for the duration of the credits until they run out, a year or two. It's a good use of the credits because you don't need to think about that cost. You can just start developing and trying to get customers and move as fast as you can. But I do think there is a better use or an additional way to use some of the credits because maybe you're not going to use them all. Or even if you are, I think you should consider this anyway. And that is to experiment, to try every service that makes sense for you. And even some ones that you're not even sure would be a good fit, but it's a good way to get hands on with all these services and see what may or may not work for you. For example, using an RDS database might be the right fit for you. But with the credits, you get to try out Aurora. You can try out Aurora Serverless. You can try out DynamoDB, Elasticash. You can try out Time Series data, Quantum Ledger database. You can try out many different data stores to experiment with them, understand how they work, and if they could be a fit for you maybe now, or if not now, in the future, as you start to grow, add new features, you'll then have a good understanding of what data stores and services are out there. And this could work for anything. It's a super good way to experiment and move as fast as possible. Next is training. There is training available. And yes, there's public training like the dev days or the online conferences. You have the developer documentation, loads in GitHub, the blog and, and more. But also with Activate, you get access to Quick Labs. And Quick Labs are really cool. They are these simulated environments. So what you have is you have a set of cloud services up and running. And let's say you want to figure out how to run Elasticash. You can just focus on building and configuring Elasticash because the environment comes with everything else. I used to complete loads of these to find out how things work and experiment. So try that out. And third is special offers that come as part of you being a member of Activate. And these offers are really specific to the needs of startups. So we have offers from companies like Chargebee, Stripe, Datadog, and Slack. And these are the types of software packages or services that I see startups using because it just makes sense. So these are great offers that really fit with your likely needs. And again, it just saves you money because you can use these offers, get discounts, get trials, and potentially, instead of having to build it yourself, you can use what's there. And this is just a great way to think about development in general. And number four is the Activate Console. And this is pretty new, and this is a service within the AWS console. And think of it like a, a hub, the central place that you would go to to find out everything that you need to know about your account from a startup point of view. So it will cover things like, what are my credits? How's my spend looking? It will then allow you to see if there's any important upcoming information about some of the services you might have running, there's some updates, or if there was any outages, it'll tell you that there. And what I think is the coolest thing about the console is there is a recommendation feed. And this feed is full of useful information that is relevant to your startup. So if you are just starting out and you're building a health tech company, it'll then give you information relevant to that. But if you're later on and you've started hiring a few developers, got your first serious round of funding, it'll then adjust that feed and start telling you things like about how to build a data lake, how to think about machine learning. And it'll give you timely information based on where you are in your journey and how you're using AWS. This is super useful because it just pulls all the information and the behavior patterns of what startups are doing. And finally, and I think this is the most important one, is you have access to support. 
And support is more than just break fix or when something doesn't work, I need someone to, to help figure it out on the end of an email. It's much more than that. It is access to cloud engineers that are experts in the individual services that they're responsible for. So if you have a problem with something or you're thinking not even necessarily just a problem, but what is the best way to use something or how should I do this? You can raise a ticket and you can get access to them either via email, via phone, via chat, I prefer chat or even screen sharing so they can help you, advise you, work you through problems. And this is a really great way to get unstuck. So often I see people stuck for hours, days, maybe even weeks trying to figure out a problem. But with business support, if you can't figure the answer out in say 30 minutes of looking through Stack Overflow or Googling, you can then raise a ticket, work on something else, get an answer, respond to it and work on that. And I really think support is often underutilized, but it's part of the package and you don't pay per request. I really encourage you to raise tickets regularly when you have questions or when you have issues or things that you wanna find out and see what answers you can get. And hopefully these will help you to move faster. So now you have a little bit of idea about what I think about Activate. And this is based on the way I've seen hundreds of startups using AWS Activate and some of the best practices from them. So now let's talk about how to get Activate. Activate is split into two different tiers, really depending on where you are in your growth of your company. So if you're just starting out, maybe it's just a couple of your friends and you're making your first steps, building your MVP and you haven't yet got investment, there's the Activate Founders tier. And this gives you $1,000 of AWS credits plus $350 of developer support. So this is really designed around building your MVP, getting it in front of your first sets of customers. And then when you start becoming more successful and your company is growing and you have investors, that's when the Activate Portfolio Package comes in. And this gives you up to $100,000 of AWS credits plus business support. So you can really start to grow and scale your business and your usage without having to think about the costs involved in doing this. So if you found this video useful, click the like button, subscribe if you've not done so already. And to apply to Activate, go to aws.amazon.com slash activate. And there you'll see information about the portfolio package and the founders tier, and you can apply online. I'll leave a link below as well.